story about a record company that's taken a fundamental shift in the music business. After the passing away of Edmund Stone, we focus on his son Lenny, the new head of Stone Records. Now, with no real experience, we follow his attempts to take the company in a completely new direction. Lenny, can I ask you, you've been in charge of Stone Records for what, over five months now? Mm. Um, but do you not think that you may be venturing into uncharted territory with this new idea that you have? Well, as in your company has such a high reputation for producing great classical music and Motown, it may be detrimental to what the company's already achieved. Sorry? Well, basically, do you think that you could be damaging the company with your new plan? <laughs> well, if I thought that, I wouldn't be doing it, would I? I mean, what you got to understand, there's nothing that says it's distinctively British music anymore. I mean, there's nothing out there. I mean, there's no real quality, is That's there? That's all rubbish, isn't it? What were you had with those big bone girls? You mean the Spice Girls, Mum? I know the back passage boys. <laughs> you mean the Backstreet Boys, Mum? <laughs> yeah, they're all the fucking same, aren't they? Lenny, how do you know when you have a good idea for a band? I don't think that's something that you can be taught. I mean, the old man always used to say to me, you know, you can't cheat somebody. It's an instinct, it's a gut feeling that you instantly know when something's good. You know, all the great producers have it, you know, like George Martin, you know, Stock Aiken and Waterman, you know, people like Louis Walsh and Simon Cow. I mean, they just know when something's right. But as you're very new to this game, could your senses, if you will, not be tuned to picking the right sort of talent? Do you think that you could make a mistake that could end up being a big risk? I mean, walking across the road's a risk. Of That's... course, but you could say that crossing the road is a calculator risk, whereas... Well, know... listen, listen, listen. Every now and again, you're going to have to push the boat out of the harbour to take the trade winds. I mean, if we stay where we are, we're just going to stagnate you know, at Stone Records, and I believe that what we need to do is just push forward, you know, take a chance, a risk and everything. Hey, excuse me, it's the phone. Hello? Lenny's new idea for a band consists of five boys who have no real experience in the music industry, but his firm belief in taking these boys from the streets and building them up into a new music phenomenon will strike a chord with the general public. The five boys he's chosen are... Chang Wong, 23, found working in his family-run chip shop, Lenny believes his smile, enthusiasm and urge to be a rap star will no doubt capture the public's heart. Oh, yeah, bring him back the sounds of the old school, the original hip-hop beats. Originate MCs Leroy and Charlie, bringing it live, oh, spending our stage trying to avoid the five, oh. Yeah, we want to say a big shout to Mr Patel, let me two be off them penny sweets yeah, this yeah. morning. Big up, Mr Patel. Oh, keep, right. keep your attitude at home, keep keep peace door. and pleasure to the dogs. Charlie and Leroy, both 25, have been running their pirate radio station for almost two years now. On the dole and still living with their parents, Lenny believes their rapping skills and street knowledge will no doubt be a massive boost for his creation. <laughs> Graham Boy, 24, his flexibility and agility in dance is one of the main reasons Lenny's hired him to be in the band, but he also represents the common working guy trying to bust out and get free of the system. Danny De Villiers, 25. After just coming out of a reality TV show and press still fresh on his trails, Lenny and many others in the business have high hopes for him to break into the music industry. <laughs> Morning. Hiya. So, uh, Lenny, can you tell us what the meeting's going to be about today then? Oh, well basically I'm just going to the boardroom now and uh, what we like to do once a month is sort of go through the potential clients that we've looked and see who's good and who's, who's not. Uh, and discuss then. Basically, I want us to be focusing on my idea of the band. And basically, I'll give them their briefs and everything else. And we're just gonna see where it goes from there. So I've got a dash. So, uh, okay. yep. who's gonna kick it off? Uh, Carl? The Ginger Boys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see them the other night. They're a strange bunch of lads. Yeah. Bit gay. Uh, we can't say gay. I mean, you can't well, just well, come well, out. I mean, well, the ginger well, beer boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ginger beer. No, seriously, seriously, focus. come on. I love them. In what way? Dave, shut up, will you? <laughs> I like them as well. <laughs> they're a I good group. They're, I think they're a good band. <laughs> they're a good group. They're they're a good group. They're a good band. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, make a note of that. Um, Dave. Well, yeah, I went to see uh, Twisted Wire. Remember Twisted yeah. Wire? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's right. Well, you know. Like what you just said there, Cole, they've got a huge fan base. I love them. Yeah. Great potential. Mm. 
and, and they're not signed to no one yet and they're all yeah, sniffing amazing, so amazing. we've got to pick them up ASAP. Twisted wire. Mm. Mm. These ain't the guys that meditate on stage for the first 90 seconds before each song and then jump about <laughs> shouting and singing. That's the ones, yeah, exactly. Yeah, very good. Definitely, yeah. Right, anything else? Not for me, no. No, nothing, nothing here, no. Nothing. Right, That's mate. it for me. Over the last couple of months, I've been looking for boys. <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Very funny, Dave. No, not on the internet. Yes, I've been looking on the internet, not in the way that you said. <laughs> You're keeping me, I'll call the police. Uh, no, <laughs> listen, no, listen. I've been searching for five boys to make a boy band, but a boy band with a difference. A rap boy band. So what, are they, a rap band or a boy band? No, listen to me, listen to me, OK? The boy band. No, no, hear me out. A boy band, but with a difference. Look, the US have cornered the market on rap music. Boy bands. Stone or records. Or rap We're stone band, records. Now this is our chance to make something uniquely British. Reclaim the streets for Britain. Okay? But with a twist. Not rapping about the bad things in life, but about the positive things. Now I've been looking for five boys, working class boys from the ghettos, from different cultures, you know, to make this unique band. Find that bit of magic. Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Well, I'm trying to. Yeah. It's not Stone Records, though. It's yeah. not yeah. Stone Records. Yeah, but listen, you've got to give it a chance, haven't you? But no, I hear what you're saying, Lenny, but we've never sort of gone into that market before, have we? No. You know, ever. Stone Records has never gone down that path. It's a big risk, it's a big Yeah, it's a major huge departure. Risk. Exactly, and I'm just wondering, like, you know, what sort of guys are you going to get in this project? Well, let me just voice. stop you right there, because I've found them. Already? Yeah, five guys yeah. that are going to make well, us right. much. Just have a look at this. Hey Dory, have you got a camera recording? Yeah, look, I know you got all that. Uh -huh. My name is Chang Wong, I'm 23 years old and I love rap music. I'm heavily influenced by rap music. I wrote rap music for a long, long, long time. To me, rap is raw, rap is pure, rap is a way of stopping wars. Hi, my name's Dev. You probably know me from reality television. My musical influences are obviously Ricky Martin and the legend, the Don, Peter Andre. I think I should be in the band because obviously I'm totally cool and obviously as you'll see in a minute, I've got oodles of musical ability. So I'm going to sing a song for you boys now. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Whoa, do it now. Mysterious girl, I want to make love to you. That's it, do it now. Whoa, baby, baby, baby. Whoa, mysterious... <coughs> Hi, uh, I'm Graham. Um, I've been in a few plays in school and stuff and done a few quiz shows. Um, I'd say my main influences are uh, Michael Jackson and uh, I really, really want to be in this band because I think, I, th I think it'd be good for me and my confidence and stuff and it'd be really nice to have a future really. But more me, man. I know, I know. Damn low, bro. Yeah, this is Leroy and Charlie here, bringing it to you one time. You get me? We think we can bring a lot of um, things to this group because, like, and uh, we're good and that, and we could be like influential to all them little kids and stuff because, like, we're from the street and we know how it goes. And Not from the streets, like, we're living on the streets. We ain't tramps, but like from the hood, from the street, from the ghetto. Yeah, yeah. And we got a little taste of a little something we prepared a little earlier for you, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, new Ryan Charlie here from the street. Bringing it to you like a fresh piece of meat. Yeah, listen to the beat. One, two, three. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, yeah. Big up, blood. Okay, now yep. what I want you to do is go out there and work on these guys. I mean, you got the briefs, study them, use them. I want you to come up with a name and an image, okay? Mm. For these boys, I need you to be positive. This is Stone Records' hottest venture, huh? Yeah, but Lenny, what about the songs? I mean, who's gonna write their material? Exactly. I, I understand that. Now, Lionel, you know that we spend a lot of money on copyright. We always do, yeah. Yeah, 
but I'm going to get these boys to write their own stuff. Oh, okay? No, no. Listen, they can do it. Lenny, that guy couldn't even say his own name. Listen, it doesn't matter. They come from the art. They can use their own experiences. We'll be quids in here. Okay. Okay, Lenny. But let's at least have some sort of backup. Backup for what? Well, in case they can't write or even sing for that matter. Yeah, that worries me too, Lenny, yeah? Worries all. Well, well, don't worry about it because I'm going to get the finest singing teachers. Speech therapists, Speech. dance teachers, choreographers. Yeah, I'm going to put these guys on a fitness regime that I'm going to take care of personally on a day-to-day -day running. Okay, right. Listen, you two can get involved with this as well. You can uh, lose a few pounds. All right? Now, I need you to be positive about this, okay? So I'm going to take your briefs away and I want to meet back here next week. All right? Thanks a lot. What a prat. So Lenny, how do you think the meeting went? It's just that it seemed that a few of your colleagues felt that maybe this wasn't the best way to start off with the creation of the band. Um, well, I think it went very well. So, can we ask you how, how you think the meeting went? Well, um, what can I say? I mean, I've been in the music business 20 years, and what I saw in there today no, they've got no talent. No talent. I mean, I think it's going to take time for them to adapt to my ideas. They can't sing, they can't dance, they can't rap. I mean, really. I'm lost for words. You know, but in the long run, I think they can see where I'm coming from. And I think that we're all heading in the same direction. So, no, I think there's been a lot of positives out of that. It could work, but there is... This is a huge high-risk manoeuvre for us. And we could end up in a situation where we're up a certain creek without a certain instrument. And I can't deny it, it makes me nervous. But we'll see, we'll see. Well, at the end of the day, he's using unknown kids, isn't he? They can go one way or the other. And if you're asking me if I'd put me money on it, well... Thank you. I can't see any problems. No, I think it went really well. So guys, what was it like when you was told you was in the band? Yeah, well, uh, I was enough happy, man. I was like, uh, I couldn't even absorb it into my brain. I was that uh, happy. Do you think that you are the front man for the band then? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it stands to reason, doesn't it? You know, um, you know, I've come off this show. The, the, the fans have been fantastic. I've got a profile. I've, I've done the media circuit, I've done the interviews, you know, I, I can help the boys and all this kind of stuff and give them a real focus and direction. I want to be a rap star, but I don't want to be serving up gherkins and sausage rolls. During those first three evictions, you did not go to public vote. And the first time you went to public vote, you were ousted from the house. So how does that really confirm your popularity with the public? Lenny Stone's on the phone, he's belling you, he's saying, yeah, you're in the band. And I was like, are you for real, mum? I was like, bouncing around all day. And that's when I called Leroy. Yeah, 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 I was just chilling in my room, yeah, busting out some fresh rhymes. My main man Charlie called me up, he's like, yo, 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 Leroy, we got in the band. I was like, I know he did, bro, because that Lenny Stone geezer just called me in it. And he was like, are you excited? I was like, yeah, it's all right. So I'm going to keep rapping, because rapping is my life. Yeah. You know, the support and the warmth um, and the letters from the, the people from the public who you've taken the time to get in touch with me. It's really touched me. It's been amazing. Yes, we have heard about your letters, but do three fan mail letters and 13 death threats constitute as a personal fan base? To be honest, I'm really shocked. I'm really overwhelmed. I mean, massive label like that, signing me. But I've got a feeling it's because of my moves, because the other guys, I just get a feeling that they're not experiencing dance. They're quite good singing and things like that. So um, I think they've brought me in as a dance element, maybe. The, the phrase I think we should pick up on there, I think the interesting phrase there is that, you know, we are talking about a fan base. Thank you for that, Div. Yeah. Uh, it's Dev. OK, guys. Now, I want us to think about this. When you think about rap music, what's the first thing that stream springs to mind, eh? What's the first thing that bounces in your head? Murder, good, good. Policemen. Shootings Bitches. Gangsters. Yeah. Hose, yeah. Hose and Shaking your booty. 
<sighs> yeah, that's all very good. That's excellent. It fits, it's, yeah. yeah, but it's the wrong Makes sort of vibe. What do you mean? Well, that's the vibe that works. It sells records, Lenny. It's yeah, and I know. That's and that's why we're going to change that. <laughs> okay? No, hear me out. Yeah. When you turn on the TV, right, and you see some rap artist standing there and all his bling and his baseball cap turned around the wrong way, giving it all this, what's he talking about? He's talking about shooting his neighbour's dog or getting his girlfriend pregnant and kicking her in the stomach or things like that. I mean, it makes no sense to me. I mean, it's evil. And I want to change that. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, look, but look. I want to rap them about the positive things in life. You know, not the bad. Yeah, I see, I see where Len is coming from, right? Huh? I get your point, but, Thanks. right? I've got nothing against all that, but are they still going to be able to say things like motherfucking bitch and stuff like that? Well, that's know? just what I'm trying to avoid, Dave. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but we still need to hang on to something that sort of essential rap music. I agree. You know what well, I mean? It might be rap otherwise, rap, yeah. would it? Because what are they going to be rapping about otherwise? You know, helping old age people to their cars or something <laughs> with the shopping. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense, does it? Why not? <laughs> Oh, oh, come on, why not? What's wrong with that, eh? Idea. Yeah, what? but rapping about the positive things in life. Instead of rapping about killing kids, they can be rapping about helping them. Instead of rapping about their girlfriend being pregnant, they can maybe go into midwife classes with them and holding oh, their hands. They can talk out. about it. Listen, it works, mate. They could come into town and sort of change things. They could be like uh, musical mercenaries. You know, a bit like, remember them in the 18? Mm -hmm. You know? They could help people instead of hurting them. The A team. They are. A team. Of rap. It up. You know what I mean? I, I mean, has anyone else come up with a better idea for a name? The A team. Oh, I've got bad bloods. <laughs> Too aggressive. Grenade posse, maybe. That's even bleeding worse. <laughs> How about the bouncy car crew? Since so help people in a bouncy car. Well, that's very good, but it sounds more like a single line. Positive you know five. Plus five of them, isn't it? Very good, but very bland. Come on, anyone we'll get anything else, Yeah, eh? I've, got, I've got it, I've got it. Right, good. How, yeah, I can put this down. How about we call them shit? Because <laughs> that's what they are, isn't they? Isn't they? Yeah, that's good. It's light in the moon. Very good, Dave. Come. But can we be serious, eh? Okay, then. Yeah, yeah. On the edge. Mm. On the edge of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dave! You might as well, if you're going to be like uh, you might as well leave, alright? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm we're sorry. trying to... I'm sorry. But, but you might have something now. On the edge, on the edge. I've got it, I've got it. How about, run with me here. Bang. Edge. Bandage. 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 Edge. Yeah. Bandage. Bandage. And what does a bandage do? Right. Think about it. It heals a wound, Dave. Right. Heals a wound. Yeah. Bandage. Healing the wounds of society. It works, mate. Oh, I don't believe it. Man, fucking well, 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 edge. Yeah. Why don't you go and make the tea? Who, me? Yeah, you. Go and make the tea. If you're going to take me serious, there's no point in you being here. So go and make no, the tea. Oh, you serious? Right, Lenny, come on. Just... Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh. I'll go and make tea then. Dave, can I ask, what actually happened in there then? No, oh, it's nothing really. You know, I deal with music all the time, talent, rhythm, style. Every day I deal with that, yeah? But uh, what really upsets me in there is that a great company like Stone Records is getting dragged down by some mad idea like Band Edge. You know, what's all that about? I can't understand. I mean, that Lenny, he's a lovely geezer, don't get me wrong, I like him, but bottom line, he ain't got a clue what he's talking about, you know. I want you maybe to start on some of the apparatus and then 30 seconds on each and work yourself round. So that's it, snap to it. Come on. Lenny, I'm gonna have to call my agent about this, mate. What? I thought this was just for the cameras. I didn't realize we were actually going to do it. Of course it's... Cool. Do us a favor, just do it for the cameras. Pay my personal trainer 150 quid an hour. He's yeah, I know, but this is for the... monkey bars. Like, look, do us a favor, just do it for the cameras. Come on, he's a good boy. I mean, we look good, wouldn't it? You know, you shaping up on Do a bit of running, that's it. That's it, good. Good. I'm just going to call and check on this, right? Go on! Yeah, go on! Go on! Go on! That's it! That... Oh! <laughs> Go, 
was a hit with that <laughs> It's okay, we all like we've all got our special underwear, haven't we? We've all got Batman underwear, ain't I? Fucking creep. And he's up! He's up! Go, bro! One! Yes. Uh, he's like a monkey! Look at that! Come on! Come on! Press it! Come on! So mad I didn't understand that. Press it! See teamwork! Teamwork! See! And you go! Oh, well done. Yeah, give me the high five. Well done, Jesus. And Graham. You can do it. Go on, you go. Graham, Graham. Graham. Come on, Graham. Go, Jeff. Go, you go. Well done, Jeff. Well done. Well done, Graham. One, two, three. Come on, 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 Come Turn it later into something better. If Graham can get, says he can do it, let him have an attempt. Oh, yeah. hmm? Can you do that? He does um, aerobics. Yeah, that's not yeah, fair. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Right, I don't want you to start backing out on deals. I don't want you to start saying I can't call my people when I need to call my people. Dave. All right, Dave. Just do as you're told. You touch that one more time. I'm seriously going to have to. Charlie. Do you think that they are ready for their live TV performances now? I don't happened? think they're just ready for it. I actually think that they're, they're, they're steaming for it. And that's what I said to Dave and Colin, that if we get the best people and surround this group of lads, you know, with the, the best people, we can create something very special. And I think that's what you're seeing now. And you've got a lot of professional people that have come in to aid these boys now, haven't you? Oh, of course. I mean, the choreographer was wonderful. I mean, I mean, he's worked and choreographed some of the biggest shows in London and worked with some of the best bands around. What's this? What's down? Do you not, what, what part of down do you not understand? Right, now start again. Lunge and there and there and down. And again, and again, quickness, lunge, and there, and there, and down. I mean, the guy we got in Dead Still Game to do the rap was fantastic. Start from the top, yeah? One, two, three. All I wanna do is drive, drive my wheels. wheels. Gotta make some deals. Take walk in the hills. hills. Don't need no pills. Hills. to get my bills. bills. Once you back, oh, chill, I need my bills. Pay my bills. I just wanna ride in my wheels. I don't need to take no pills I just want to eat my meals We even Ah ah re Wa 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 Where do they get this guy from? You learn to talk to talk now you got to learn to walk the walk yeah When you come into the stage when you come into a room you got a presence You've got to believe in yourselves, you've got to carry the weight of you being men. Big men, yeah? So you've got to walk the walk. Yeah. yeah. Let's start with you. I mean, what he doesn't know about rap, you know, <laughs> you, know you couldn't write on the back of the postage stamp instead of room for the margin. No one's messing with this man. No one's messing with that man. Because that man looks dangerous. Yeah. Maybe a... Don't copy that walk. Loosen up, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying, I really am trying. Yeah, I think you're taking the mic. <laughs> Shit, man. You walk like that, you're getting fucked up on the street. So no real problems in general for you then? With the no, no. I think they've taken to everything marvellously. I think we've got over the early problems after a couple of weeks. I mean, I don't think there's no egos anymore. I don't think one person thinks he's better than anybody else. Don't touch my hair! Don't touch my hair! Don't touch my hair! I mean, the dancing, I think they were wonderful at that. I mean, everyone's sort of believing in themselves. I think they've done very well. I mean, no one thinks he's something that he's not. Uh, I mean, even the rap, they're getting their head around the lyrics and how to, you know, be the rap artist I want them to be. I, I don't think they've got no problems at all. Did you 
know about this? No. But you live with him. Do you know it's in a washing machine or something? Look, just carry on, all right? Let's see if he's okay. Leroy, come on, son. Come, it's all right. I mean, we've all got our problems, you know what I mean? I mean, fat boy's fat. Charlie's stupid. Dev's a diff. One can't talk properly. So come on, come out. I mean, we can sort this out, surely. As long as he's prepared to come to terms with his condition. What? And he can be part of the what band. What condition, man? Look at what, you want, look at what are you trying to say? What, what condition? He's got a condition. He, he, needs, to, to, you know he needs to get his head around no, it. No, he no. needs to get used to you the fact that we all know. Man. We need to you get. Got condition. Look, he needs to get over it. It's a trauma what for him. It's a, it's, it's a post shock. Leroy? Days, bruv. Player haters been dissing a G for the colour of his fro, you get me? And now, I get feared with the wig, I get feared with the dreads, bruv, and things is changing. You, you give me opportunity. Yeah, you do your fighting. Prick, man. Move. Let go of me. Oh, I'm cool. I'm, I'm fine. Cool. Fine. I'm fine. I'm cool. fine. Just let me go. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, man. We, we stand. We stand, man. Fuck it. We stand. I'm saying he's ginger! Get off! He's ginger, alright? Just face it! He's ginger! And then I, and I do the flip and then it comes off, it's over, blood. I know, I know you're firing me, it's alright. Don't dress it down or nothing, just tell it like it is. I'll get my things, I'll get them. Where are you going? No. What? Join the rest of the lads, eh? Show them what you got. You blend, yeah? Hey! Yeah. Sometimes you're not just a manager, are you? Lenny, how do you think they are progressing now as a band or as a unit? I think they're doing tremendously well. Mate, you're no one to talk about Can hair. Uh, I, I'm no one to talk about hair. You know, like At least it's mine. The writing process has gone very well as well. I mean, they've knuckled down and they've really got the songs together. I mean, uh, they brainstormed the ideas and put their heads together and really didn't mess about, you know, and just got stuck right into it. I'm very proud of them. And one time there was this like, Pussycat, yeah, on my estate, and it all got like mangled up and that. Yeah. And what about Busty Pussy? Yeah, write it. Right, I'll write that write down that as well, man. Busty Pussy. Yeah. You've given these boys a huge task by asking them to write their own music with no background in the business. Some of the boys can't spell, have pronunciation problems. Do you really think this is a wise choice? I think it's the best choice. The pussy, it shouldn't be dying. My granny don't smile anymore. What? My granny Definitely. don't smile oh, anymore. Uh, song title. Song title. These boys come from the streets. Well, like, you guys are going to have to write this because I've just got absolutely no experience about what you're talking about. How about? Talking about. We don't know how to be nice to go on, go Yeah, on. I know how to be nice to people, but I've got no experience of people that? taking drugs and grannies and cats being banged up on how a stage. I don't I'm, 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 Use your imagination, dickhead. I mean, they may come from slightly different backgrounds, but they've got a grand in from the streets, and I think that's the the best grounding you can have. I mean, it comes from the heart. <laughs> I mean, you just can't buy talent like that, can you? So what's the problem then? Oh, all right, thanks a lot. Thanks very much. All right, mate. Um, That's a good start. Chang's blown us out. Punks in the back of his dead shot. I've got a Deal. Porsche out there. It's, uh, it's going to be safe. Okay, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm not taking any calls either. Right. Oh, right. Just shut up. Downstairs, lads, come on. Yeah, so we're uh, all here today. Big day, engineer, Colin, all the boys. 
Yeah, we're just looking good, looking yeah. good. <laughs> we're just waiting for Lenny and the producer to turn up, actually. We've got a very big, big name producer coming in to sort out any problems because uh, we think there could be a few, don't we? Yes, I think there will be. <laughs> Um, what's the, the song called that the boys are going to be recording today then? Well, we're going to do uh, two songs today that the boys have written themselves. One is called the... The Bouncy... The Bouncy Car Crew. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, I uh, know. Oh and the second one they've written themselves is called Busted Pussy. That's it, Busted So I'm Pussy. sure that'll be a success. All right, lads. Dave, Carl. Well, Hello, let's get the show on the road. Let's get things moving. Hello, then. Where's the... Uh, Where's the producer? Where's the man? You're looking at him. It's me. I'm going to produce this record. I don't believe it. No, no, hear me out, hear me out. I've sat there and I watched my dad do this a thousand times. I know what I'm doing. If he can do it, so yeah, can I. Yeah, hold on then. When your dad done it, he had a producer working alongside with him. Yeah. He didn't do it on his own, Dave, then. Dave, Dave, listen to me. I know what I'm doing. I watched my dad do it before. I told you before, right? I'm going to do an hands-on approach with this job, all right? So come on, let's get this show on the road, all right? Time is money. I'm going to get a coffee. What's he doing? He's got rid of the producer. He did what? Oh, I don't believe it. We're the best of God, we about you. And you, and you, and you. Oh, it's no good. We're the Bouncy Car Crew, we care about you, and you, and you, and you. Oh, baby! No, oh, no. We're the Bouncy Car Crew, come on, baby! The Bouncy Car baby, baby! Come on. Okay, try it another time, will you? We're the Bouncy Car Crew, we care about you, and you, and you. One more time, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I wanna do is ride my wheels, make some deals, walking along. All I wanna do is ride in my wheels. I wanna ride in my wheels, ride in my wheels, ride in my wheels. Yeah, baby. It's got a record right there. I want to ride in my wheels, take on my deals, I just want to, baby. Bats car crew, yeah, we love you, we love you, bouncy car crew, we love you. So, uh, how's that, Lenny? Go record right there, I think. How do I sound? Well, look, that's how they sound, mate. You can't polish a turd, can you? What? I'm paying you a lot of money. Can't you do something? Can't you fiddle about with one of these put some graphic no, on no, over no. to... I know you're paying a lot of money for this and everything. These are my knobs. Don't touch my knobs, okay? We go again, eh? Okay. <laughs> you! Yeah. How do we sound, Lenny? I mean, is that a gold record or what? He loves it. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Love it, blood. He's gobsmacked. They love it. Lenny, can I have a minute, please? Yeah, can I just finish this? No, can I have a minute, please? Your time. Take five, guys. This is not working. We need a producer because, due respect to you, Lenny, this is going tits up. Tits up? Tits up. You think so? I know so, Lenny. These boys have been working bloody hard, oh, Lenny. Leave off, it's Lenny. working, mate. Lenny, no, this what? is You've not what we do me. at Stone Records. You've always been negative about me. My old man was right about you. You're jealous. jealous. You want to be what I want to be. That's what you jealous? want. Jealous? Are you sure this is shit, Lenny? Shit! Yeah, it's shit. 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 No way! This is your 
Are you alright, Dave? Yeah. I mean, ah, oh, you know what it's like. It's uh, we're in the top of the range studio today, with the bottom of the pole band, you know, and all the fellas that have recorded here over the years: Hendrix, Pink Floyd, The Stones, The Beatles, and we're here today, Stone Records, with Bandage. I mean, I don't know what I don't know how it's got to this, you know. I really don't. I just want like them teachers to see like the one when I was at school uh, and I want them to see that I've done something and know that like I've accomplished something. I can't believe you're showing them out there. Yeah, well, you're not a superstar yet, you know. Look, lads, lads, please, can we just put our petty differences to one side? I'm just, just not going to be happy that you haven't given me my own. Div, life. no more, please. Let's put our differences to one side just for today and get through this show. I suppose today's really make or break, really. Um, but I think we've, you know, we've nailed the choreography and we've worked with everyone, so I think we'll be all right, to be honest. But I don't know about everyone else, but I'm, you know, I think, yeah. Yeah. Am I nervous? <laughs> A guy like me? <laughs> oh. I think we're coming up to it now, actually. Can you turn the heat down, please? You right? Here we go, boys. All right, guys, this is it. This is it. Lovely. As the lads arrive for their first ever live performance, the stakes are high. With important people watching, Lenny knows he's got to pull this off in order to crack America. But the question is, after all their effort in creating distinctive British music, do the boys have the potential to fulfil Lenny's ambition of reclaiming the streets for Britain and becoming global megastars? Lenny, are these trousers too low? Archives. They look fine. You think this is too... You think this is no, alright? <laughs> yeah, but they say the lower the he's, better. He's filming them <laughs> Right then, lads. Getting close to D Day. It's good. Hang on a minute, Dev, please. Right. What? 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 Listen to me. I've had about enough of your sanctimonious crap over the last couple of months. Now you go out there and do what you're bloody well paid for. Do you understand? Give me day of the dev. He's a good boy. I know you can do it. Well, I'm surprised to be honest that we've got this far, but saying that, it's still uh, early days, you know. So does that mean you've changed your mind on the band then? No. No, not at all. I think they're uh, a complete waste of time. Come on in, boys. Come on, boys. 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 Do good. Chan. After three. One, One two, three. three. Bandage. 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 Come on. Come Woo. On. Yeah. But, you know, they're nice kids. But, um, you know, they're not going to sell records. They're not. And I'll stand on the ocean until I start sinking But I'll know my song well before I start singing And it's a hard, it's a hard, it's a hard And it's a hard, it's a hard, it's a hard rains are gonna fall And it's a hard, it's a hard it's a hard, and it's a hard, it's a hard rain, it's gonna fall.